Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. My name is Samil Shah and I work as a software engineer. Uh, so in this small tutorial series uh, or small video uh, rather, I would be explaining you about uh, the new feature that AWS released uh, recently. That is you can run AWS Lambda on a Docker container. So we'll be talking about uh, uh, what sort of advantage it brings to the uh, what sort of advantages it brings basically uh, running a Lambda on a Docker container. Uh, we'll learn that. We'll also learn how to how to basically deploy a Lambda function on a Docker container. How to deploy a custom image on an ECR. All of that, uh, all, everything is there in this video. Hope you would really enjoy and uh, learning about AWS uh, Lambda uh, running on a Docker container. So. What are you waiting for? Let's get started with this session. So let's get started uh, uh, learning about that, right? So I'm gonna read a couple of definition and if you're not interested in learning a little bit about theory, you can forward the video a little bit ahead. But I really believe uh, knowing a little bit of theory really helps. So if you're going to an interview, you really know what you're, why you wanna do, you know, uh, uh, why you wanna run Lambdas on Docker. So let's see certain definition. With AWS Lambda, you can upload your code and run it, run it without about uh, run run it without thinking about servers. Many customers love the way this works, but if you have invested in container tooling for your development workflows, it's not easy to use the same approach to build application using Lambda. That's the reason why AWS came up with this uh, uh, feature. So to help, uh, so it says to help uh, with that, you can now package and deploy a Lambda function and a container image up to 10 gigabytes in size. That's huge, guys, because that means you can now package massive uh, libraries like Pandas, TensorFlow, and stuff like that. Let's keep reading. Uh, in this way, you can easily build and deploy larger workloads and rely sizably on dependencies such as machine learning, data intensive workload, just like function packed in a zip archive, function deployed as a container images benefits from same operational simplicity, automatic scaling, high availability and native integration with many services. AWS, uh, AWS now provides the base images for all the supporting languages and runtimes such as Python, Node.js, Java, .NET, Go, Ruby. Uh, they have also certain base images. You have the ability to also provide a custom base images. Uh, AWS also releases an open source Lambda runtime interface simulator. That means you can run your Lambda locally on a Docker container, test it, and then deploy things on uh, ECR if you if you think it's correct, right? Uh, in, in short, I just want to go through a summary. Allows a local uh, testing uh, with a runtime emulator. Great for companies who are already invested in uh, Docker containers such as ECS, ECR, etc. Base images are already provided and you also have an option to provide custom images. Base image supports all the major languages, allows to increase package size up to 10 gigabytes. That's massive, as I said. Now let's get started with some action, right? So now let's learn a little practical, right? We want to do practical. So don't worry about the keys I have. I'm gonna delete at the end of the video. Focus on learning. Create a folder called learn, make three files inside that, docker file, my function.py requirements. Requirements will have the packages that you wanna use for your project. My function has a simple code, hello world, where it's basically, we are importing the library and we're just saying, hi, hello from uh, Lambda or something like that, right? It's easy, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Now, in order to uh, start things out locally or even I would say, in order to test your Lambda locally, I have certain commands and everything is there on the GitHub section explained properly. So don't worry about that. First of all, we need to build a, uh, we need to build the image. So this command right here, docker build minus t, uh, the name dot that says, hey, build an image called random letter uh, and uh, the docker file is inside the current directory. Once that is done, I'm saying that I would like to run the docker container right now. So this that means this is starting the docker container. Now we can test our Lambda with a simple curl command, status 200, that this is coming from the Lambda. As you can see, this Lambda returns 200. You can see the logs here. It says event and a message hello. So that proves that, hey, my Lambda is working locally. Now it's time to ship things up on AWS. Open up your AWS management console, head over to ECR. Uh, once you're in the ECR, go to the repository section, create repository, uh, I'm sorry. Create repository, make sure it's public. Uh, and let's call this um, Docker Python Lambda. Once you're done with that, guys, uh, click on the create repository. Uh, this should create the repository. Click on this, view commands to push. Uh, now, what you want to do is you want to authenticate that, right? So first of all, run the command that was given here. Uh, I think I, I did the wrong thing because that was the Linux command. I don't know how it worked, but <laughs> whatever. Let's try it again. So uh, let me see, did I screw up something? It's fine, we'll just uh, try the build image now. So let's try building the Docker image that the image has been built. 
Now let's tag the image. The commands are given on AWS, so I don't have to worry on that. And now finally, let's push the image on AWS. This basically is uh, push. Uh, is this right here is basically put packaging everything, and it's gonna push your image on AWS. Once this is complete, we can head over to the Lambda section. So I'm gonna click on close. Hopefully after a while you will see an image here. We go to the Lambda section right here, go to the functions, and now uh, we click on the button create function. Here there's an option for container image and give it some fancy name, whatever you like. So I will say my func. Uh, browse the image. Uh, so as you can see, it's not showing up, but once that image is there right here, so uh, it's still not showing up because it's, I think it's still, uh, you know, I, I, you know, it's still working out. Let's wait a, a little bit for it to complete. But really, this is a game changer in terms of uh, what you could do with this. With 10 gigabytes, that's massive. Pandas, NumPy, uh, SciPy, uh, every single thing you can run. That just opened up a, a lot of uh, you know things what you can create on cloud. It's just amazing to me. Uh, let's see if this is complete now. So still waiting on that, that one right here. If you really enjoy my tutorials and videos, I would please expect you to give a small like and I know share the video with the people whom you think it's useful. That would really help me and my channel out. So I still am waiting uh, as usual, you know, but um, let's be patient. <laughs> uh, so let's head over to the ECR and I would click on the refresh button. Uh, as usual, it's refreshing. I'm, I'm assuming it's, this is still, uh, you know, kind of... Uh, Please feel free to forward the video, uh, you know, if you wanna skip the video. But yeah, all the code and everything is there on the GitHub section. So it should be pretty easy for you guys to follow up things on, for, for the code at least, you know, go to the GitHub and, you know, copy things from there. So let's wait for a couple of more minutes, uh, should be done. So hopefully it should be done. All right, so it's ready, man. So well, let's click on the refresh. Uh, we should pop up a, an image here on the ECR on uh, AWS. Might take a second or two, but kindly be a little bit patient. Uh, my internet is also a bit slow, so I'm assuming it might take a while. So how about this? We do this repository. We click on this one. Uh, maybe that might still loading, but let's see uh, when we select this guy right here. Uh, let's click on cancel because I do not think it's still uh, Come on, AWS. Uh, yeah, let's let's wait for a while. Uh, it seems like it's just. So yeah, at this point we just gotta wait. Still loading, um, I'm expecting it might be a while. Might refresh uh, the console. All right, uh, here you see, finally uh, the wait is over yet. Uh, let's go to the Lambda container browse image. This one right here. This should show up here as well. I mean, I don't know for what reason. I, I think I just have to wait at this moment, I'm assuming. Uh, let's do this. So let's go create Lambda container image. Okay, browse for images. That one. Oh, right here. It's now available. Yeah, it takes a while, guys. So kindly be a little bit patient. I'm a little impatient, as you can see. <laughs> because I, w I wanted to make the video short and sweet. I don't want to, you know, cut and do editing out of this. But yeah. So hopefully that should be done. And then all you have to do is just test, man, at this point. So yeah, your Lambda is ready, the container is ready, uh, rock and roll guys. So click on the test button right here, create a test event call. Okay. Uh, again, this might take a while because I, I when I was trying it, it took me a, it took a while to, you know, set, because it's still, you know, it's, it's your containers are running, you know, so just, you gotta wait for like five minutes or something like that, not sure. So head over back to this image, test button. Yeah, now it's there. So click on the test button. Uh, might take a while but uh, yeah as you can see status code 200 so successfully we have ran our uh, lambda on a docker container 
Hope this tutorial was useful guys and if you really did enjoy this tutorial kindly do give a like and as usual guys keep smiling keep coding and